Hello there guys and welcome, it is Niran here and today it is time finally for my 4,000 subscriber q and I know it's been a long time since I announced it, it's probably been about uh, four weeks at the time it's going up, I've obviously pre-recorded this because of exams, but that is the reason it's been so long, because of exams, but I just wanted to take the time to thank you guys so much. We've actually hit 4,500 subscribers in the time it's taken me to make this video, and honestly, I got so many questions, which is absolutely awesome to see that you want to like know that much, A, about me and my intentions and stuff, and B, like, all the support, comments, likes. We did get 70 likes on that F1 career mode video as well, which was absolutely awesome, that finale episode. So now I'm going to be thundering through an absolutely huge amount of questions. I should have answered, I, sh I think I'm going to be able to answer them all. Uh, hopefully this won't be too long, but I, sh I should have screenshotted every single question from Twitter, from YouTube, and also from Ask FM as well. All the links to those will be in the description below. But the first question here, or first few questions, is from Alex Stobby. The first question being, what did you think of the Mayweather uh, Pacquiao fight? Uh, would you ever do face cam and are there going to be any more new series as you've planned to do? In all honesty, I didn't watch the Mayweather Pacquiao fight, but I heard it was very boring. Would you ever do face cam? I am thinking of doing it, yes, but I need a better camera before I can do that. I'm wanting to do that in relation to an Ultimate Team series, hopefully, on FIFA 16. So that kind of answers the third question as well. Uh, there will be a FIFA 16 show coming soon. Uh, players to watch out for on FIFA 16. Uh, those series will be coming soon, and I'm going to try and get an Ultimate Team series out on FIFA 16. Other than that, F1 2015 career mode, which is going to be around the corner when F1 2015 comes out. Uh, so yeah, three new series is hopefully coming out, along with the series as you see now. Uh, also some sprint mode on F1 2015, all within the next three months. Will you be going to Eurogamer in September is the second question, and that is, in fact... Uh, yes, I will be going to Eurogamer in Birmingham in September. Uh, my ga uh, my press pass, sorry, came about a month ago. I didn't want to I didn't want to say it in that um, update video because it hadn't arrived yet. I didn't want to give false hope or anything. But if you want to come see me, I, I doubt that anyone will. But I will be doing a meetup um, with a few of the other F1 YouTubers who are going. Um, I think I'm going to be meeting. Uh, Beaver and Shipmunk, I think Aeterno is going, Review TIJ and also the BPG13, they, those guys are all going, I think I'm going on the Sunday or possibly the Saturday, not entirely sure yet, but the main thing is, yes, I will be going to Eurogamer, my first gaming event, I will be very excited to be going and hopefully we'll see uh, some other people in the F1 community there as well. So the next question comes in from a few people. First of all, Ryan Maguire who asks, how did you come up with your name, uh, your ultimate goal concerning YouTube, and people you want to thank for 4,000 subscribers? Now the first was also asked by Kieran Spears, as you can see on the screen. Now for the first question, it's a combination of two nicknames. This channel actually was meant to be a joint channel between myself and my best friend called Josh. Now. Uh, his nickname was the Flying Scotsman because he's Scottish. Mine was Nirangatang because my name is Niran. Orangatang is an animal. So we're going to combine those together. And that is literally the origin of my name. It's not from one person. It's just literally from a group, from it being a dual channel. His computer died though, so it ended up literally just being my channel. Um, now your ultimate goal concerning YouTube, I don't really have one. Um, just enjoying the videos that I make is my main goal, but obviously, you know, numbers like 20,000 or 30,000, maybe even 50,000 would be, would be absolutely awesome eventually, but I don't, I, you know, I don't really mind all that stuff for now, as long as I, 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 like, enjoy making the videos, and you enjoy making them too, and people you want to thank for 4,000 subscribers. There are actually quite a few that I would like to thank for it, I mean... Um, there's there's a lot of my best friends like in in this community, A Eterno, Beaver, and Chipmunk, who like bounced ideas off each other and helped get better. The obscure lads as well that I'm working with at the moment doing GTA videos, uh, not for my channel but for their channels at the moment anyway. I'll get onto that in a, uh, a little bit later. Um, and also just people who have been around from the start, RER Videos 1998, who's literally been subscribed to me since I had like 25 subscribers, which is just awesome. Neon Maverick as well, who supported me a lot. Uh, lo literally loads, of, you all know who you mean. Anyone who I've like replied to a comment of, I really appreciate all the support and I want to thank you all for 4,000 subscribers. So the next question's coming from Air Turner UK. What is the favorite video you've ever made and what game are you most looking forward to? Favorite video I've ever made? Probably either the finale of um, of F1 career mode, the ultimate driver, or one of the montages that I made for 500 or 1,000 subscribers. As well as that actually is the finale of season 1 for FIFA 15 career mode 
on uh, uh, with West Ham. I loved making that video, and it went so it went down so well. I'll be doing that again for season two. That was, I think that probably was the favourite video I've ever made. Uh, what game are you most looking forward to? It has to be F1 2015. It looks as if it's going to be a big change this year. So yeah, that's probably what I'm looking forward to the most. The next question comes in: uh, Will you ever upload random games like GTA? I said I was going to move on to GTA, and hopefully in the summer, if my computer can handle it, I will be uploading GTA videos, GTA funny moments with the obscure lads, all their links to their channels will be in the description below and hopefully in my sub box on my second channel soon so yeah hopefully from sort of july onwards you'll be seeing gta funny moments videos on my second channel uh, link to that will be in the description as well uh, the next question is another ask fm question best youtuber under 1k there's quite a few to be honest i feel bad leaving them all out um, Cal HD one I like watching. Stopmat1998 is just like the traditional one to say in terms of uh, YouTubers under 1,000 uh, subscribers. All City Fan 789 or Alex uh, Blakey. F oh god, I can't remember the name. What? What's the numbers that come after his 487? Is it 487? I don't know. Ben, as I know him though, uh, Blakey. Um, and um, Smooth Racing, um, MP Racing as well. Literally, there's so many. It's actually ridiculous. I don't know. Maybe maybe the links to their channels will be in the description as well. But I like I literally I like watching all the YouTubers. It doesn't matter the size of the channel. There are quite a lot. Viper Racing as well, the BPG13. If I've forgotten any, it doesn't mean that I don't enjoy watching your channels. Because literally I, I watch every F1 channel in the community pretty much. So the next question's coming from the Viper Racing, and he says, Who's better, Hakkinen or Schumacher? Favourite classic F1 team from the 1990s. Would you ever consider playing an old F1 game one day? And also says, congrats on 4,000 subscribers and good luck in your exams. Uh, good luck in your exams too, Brad, if you have any at this moment in time. And thank you for the kind words. Who's better, Hakkinen or Schumacher? I probably have to say Michael Schumacher. Absolute legend, and, well, legend is putting it mildly, genius behind the wheel. Hakkinen is incredible. Hakkinen was an incredible driver when he was, you know, when he wasn't retired, obviously. Um, but Schumacher, all day of the week, in my opinion. Favourite classic F1 team from the 1990s? Um, the, the old Jordan. I liked the, I like the new Jordan, to be honest. They're not Jordan anymore, but, you know, the, the pre-yellow Jordan and the yellow Jordan. That was, they were, they were brilliant. Footwork as well, I don't know why, but Benetton. Benetton probably come out on top and would you ever consider playing an old F1 game definitely probably on my second channel if I start doing some old games on there too somebody stole the jerk chicken I mean it's not a question but Alfie Hewitt asks will you do an F1 2015 career mode uh, yes I will be doing uh, definitely. Um, it looks as if it's not going to be a traditional career mode, more you have to race as a certain driver. I'm looking at Carlos Sainz Jr. at the moment, and I probably shouldn't have given that away, but, you know, I mean, what's, what's the harm in that? It doesn't matter if you guys know. So yeah, that's what I'm planning to do. It also says keep up the good work. Thank you very much. But yes, I will be hoping to do an F1 2015 career mode with Carlos Sainz Jr., unless, obviously, we have the traditional career mode that we have on F1 2014, in which case I will be continuing the Ultimate Driver into Season 4. Lucas Hagedorn asks, or Hagedorn asks uh, what inspired you to do YouTube a multitude of things really probably uh, watching montages back in the day uh, here Seth Kazooie um, like, I don't know what it's probably an odd inspiration to have for an F1 FIFA career mode youtuber um, but yeah, I, I think watching montages, goal montages, fail montages on, on FIFA, when I eventually got my hands on a capture card, um, well I was given a capture card realistically, um, uh, that that was what ex what that was what actually want that was what inspired me to go and get one is what I'm trying to say or it basically inspired me to say yes all right I'll give it a go uh, and then FIFA YouTubers after that such as Cal Freezy, MGH, uh, Arsenal Giants, PS3 and F1 YouTubers like Tim McMarduk and Into the Barrier inspired me to do the videos that I make. An absolute lorry load of questions next up from Smooth Racing or Josh as you may know him. Um, I mean, thank you for the kind words as well at the top, it has to be said about the finale to F1 career mode. Uh, but it's Q&A questions, clean, Sutil, or Senna? Favourite video you've ever made, FIFA 15 career mode finale for season 1, definitely I think. Either that or the montage, as I said earlier, for Aeterno's question, or Joe's question, as you may know him. Uh, best F1 YouTuber below 100 subscribers. Difficult question, because it is really quite hard to find uh, uh, sorry, yeah, YouTubers below 100 subscribers, but I'd probably have to say RDM800, Manic Badger, although I think he may have hit 100 subscribers recently, so he may not be categorised, but he's around that mark. Uh, or uh, DMAD96, those three guys, definitely. F1 Petrolhead uh, as well. 
I think oh, I think that's all the guys I know that are below 100 subscribers. Uh, biggest regret of your YouTube channel so far, not getting next gen before FIFA 15 came out. That really, really could have done with getting that. Probably would have propelled my, uh, my channel forward a little bit more. James Weirdness asks, who's your favourite player to sign in career mode? Mine is Paul Pogba. Um, that's actually quite a tricky question, because it sort of depends on the career mode, really. But um, I'd, I'd say Paul Pogba as well. I think if you sign Paul Pogba in a career mode, you kind of know you've succeeded. Especially if you start off with a small team. If you have Paul Pogba in the squad, then you know, like, yeah, I am the Don here. I am the alpha male. I have done the job. Um, I think I always I always try and sign in terms of smaller underrated players. I always try and sign Terence Congolo from Feyenoord, uh, Joel Campbell usually on loan as well. Uh, then probably other than that, Nabil Fekir and Alexander Lacazette from Lyon. The G is a legend. On my good friend Graham asks for a question for the Q and A. Will you be doing any F1 league racing for F1 2015? Also, thank you for the kind words there at the top in regards to the video that was in response to. Um, I'm probably not going to be doing no. I'm just not really a cut out F1 league racer. I'm not good enough at the game, um, and and I just I my schedule isn't really good. I never really be able to get on my console in the evening, so it doesn't really work. I'm not good enough and. So yeah, probably not is the answer to that one. Do you have a girlfriend? I mean, not technically at the moment, but I'm, I'm working on it if you know what I mean. F1 2015 season build up and news says, well done on 4,000 subscribers. Hopefully I'll get there someday or close. I'm sure you will if you if you continue to work, eh, bro? Thank you for the kind words as well. His questions are, will Codemasters keep the F1 contract after the 2016 game when their contract expires? F1 2015 will live up to the expectations. Best series and video you've produced. Funniest comment you've ever had on one of your videos. And say this 10 times, I wish to wash my Irish wish. Oh, that's just not even going to happen. I didn't even say it once. I didn't even say it once. Is there even a point? Well, we'll go from the start anyway. Will Codemasters keep the F1 contract after the 2016 game? I, I mean, it's you. Be careful with what you wish for. Is the is what I would say here, because a lot of people are quick to jump to conclusions about what Code Masters have made, whether they make a good game or not. And in reality, if you switch to EA, which is what a lot of people have said, uh, people complain about FIFA, and that's made by EA. So. Not sure whether changing would really do. I mean, people have talked about Slightly Mad Studios, but I think Project Cars was a little bit of a letdown in terms of the hype that it was originally getting. So I would say yes. I would hope so. Whether I think they do is heavily dependent on what they do for F1 2015. If F1 2015 is a good game, a really solid game, and much better than the ones we've had now, and a really good next-gen game, then yes, I think they will. But if it's a bit of a letdown like F1 2014 was, which it shouldn't be really because they're spending a lot more time making it, then in reality it should be a good... It, they, they should be able to hold on to the contract. Will F1 2015 live up to the expectations? I hope it does. It looks good at the moment. There was obviously some uh, gameplay leaked very, very recently. Um, it looks... Oh, I mean, the graphics look stunning. The, obviously, it's it's probably three months old. So the fact the steering wheel looks like a demented pigeon is is not exactly the worst thing in the world. They've got, they have had and have still got a lot of time, especially with the delay to sort that out. So I think, yes, I think it will live up to the, the expectations somewhat. Hopefully won't die as quickly as F1 2014 did. Best series and video you've produced. My favourite series, I've got, a, I've got a lot. I really... Have a, like, I have a special bond with the series that I make. I've loved the F1 Ultimate Driver series. I loved Williams Road to Recovery, FIFA 15 and FIFA 14 career mode. Um, Grid 2 Online, way back in the day. Um, oh, God, I don't know. I really don't. I can't. I can't say. All the ones I've just mentioned, the FIFA 15 show, it, it just doesn't end. I love all the series that I make. Not in a, in a big-headed way, but I just because I enjoyed making them so much. Uh, the video you've produced, I've answered this twice already, but I'm going to answer it again. The F1 20, uh, the sorry, FIFA 15 uh, West Ham United career mode finale has got to be my favourite video that I've ever made. Funniest comment you've ever had on one of your videos? Off the top of my head on um, uh, best teams to manage, some guy got top comment by an absolute mile by saying that he'd ruined his Southampton career somewhat by buying Cristiano Ronaldo. Uh, everyone else seemed to find it funny. I thought it was pretty funny. I don't tend to get really comedic comments on my videos. I don't know. I've, I've forgotten some of them, probably. Some of the some of the really funny ones. And I hadn't actually checked before making that video. But uh, Making this video, sorry. But um, that's the one that stood out to me. And say this ten times, I, didn't, I couldn't say it once. I wish to wash my Irish... Nah, it's just not gonna happen. It just, it just isn't gonna happen. I'm sorry. 
All City fan 787 or Alex as you may know him asks who or what got you into YouTube and who do you think will be relegated from the Premier League if they haven't been already now obviously the second question isn't sort of viable anymore even when I'm commentating this uh, but my prediction for who would get relegated was QPR, Burnley and Sunderland. Now Sunderland obviously then went on a bit of a run as did Leicester uh, and it ended up being Hull getting relegated and as you could tell probably from the name of Alex's channel he is a Hull fan so I do apologise massively Alex for Hull getting relegated. I wanted them to stay up because I like their squad and I like their kit but mainly I like the squad and I know quite a few people who are Hull fans. But who or what got you into YouTube? What got me into YouTube again watching FIFA skill montages and even though I'm not a skiller whatsoever but they were just fascinating to watch the editing that went into them it was absolutely incredible and who got me into youtube uh, guys like calfrizi ksi nepenthes who've been around for ages mgh arsenal giants ps3 into the barrier um, and i think that probably is it really here seth here and there but yeah those guys who've just those fifa guys who have been out for ages basically has a robo asks what has kept you motivated to reach this target and where do you see yourself in a year's time also massive congrats by the way and good luck in your exams again good luck my good friend harry and also the qu i mean it's a really good question actually what's kept um probably this i mean oh, I'm, I'm gonna say it again i always end up saying this but it's, it's support it has to be seeing nice comments and seeing people liking the videos and growth and subscribing I mean, growth has actually been mental recently i can't even comprehend getting 500 subscribers in a month my channel only has 4500 that's like a ninth of the subscribers i have in a 30 day period so seeing that and then also i mean youtube is a hobby at the end of the day so you have to enjoy doing it in order to do it otherwise it's not your hobby why would you do it as a hobby so the enjoyment factor is one thing that's kept me motivated to just do it in general but to reach the goals and the longevity has to be that people are actually seeing the videos because that doing it for yourself only probably gets sort of keeps you going to a certain stage and then it, it has to be rewarded with some sort of support coming from people not necessarily and not for a long time probably but i ended up getting that quite quickly and that was awesome to see and that's probably what's kept me motivated in the long run really